What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Sir House of Jazz. Jazz. The Piano Tutorial Man. Back again with another one, two, three. Yep, you got it. Classic. Yes, indeedy. Um, feels good to be able to get back down here again. I did prepare two more songs. Uh, this one is from the same person, however, was uh, sponsored by the same person, but they asked to remain anonymous. So I will respect the person's wishes. But thank you for the next two tutorials because you sponsored both of them. And I appreciate that. Uh, try a little tenderness. Otis Redding. Uh, I've I've heard the song before, but I'm not like I don't know it like that. That's the reason why I wasn't singing. I, I know some of y'all was like, "Thank you." He just played the song through without singing. But anyway, it's not too hard of a song, so we just going to jump right on into it. We're in the key of G, not too hard. Only one sharp: G A B C D E F sharp and G. That's your scale. All right, and we want to start with a G major chord. Now, the song starts real slow. It's like a nice slow tempo. So you have a G major chord, double G on the left hand. And this is the verse, first verse. G, B, D on the right hand. And if you want, you can always do an add nine. It doesn't mess up anything. If you want to add the nine, just put the A in there, G, A, B, D. If you like that better, that's anytime I say G major in this song, you can always add the nine. That's always an option. Your next chord, uh, this E minor, double E on the left hand, G, B, E on the right hand. Then you want to go to A minor seven, double A on the left hand, G, A, C. E on the right hand then you want to go to a D7 dominant 7 double D on the left hand a G flat A and C on the right hand I just realized I got my notes showing flats when it should be showing sharps but I'm not going to go back and change it so it is what it is um, then after that you want to go back to the G major chord or the add 9 remember I said that's up to you so do your G major again, double G on the left hand, G, B, D. Then you want to walk down to a F7 chord, double F on the left hand, F, A, C, and E flat on the right hand. Then you walk down, uh, you can do E7, double E on the left hand, and then you can do A flat, B, D on the right hand, or you can always just do a double E down here and then do E, A flat, B, and D if you have enough notes, if you have like an 88 keyboard. Um, after that, you gonna, now you're going to hold that E7 for eight counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then you're going to move to A minor seven, double A on the left hand, G, A, C, E on the right hand and that's for an eight count two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then this is going to be for an eight count also, a D7 chord. Double D on the left hand, G flat, A, C on the right hand. And then what you want to do is you want to do a G over B, double B on the left hand, G, B, D on the right hand, four beats, and then you want to do a B flat dominant seven, double B flat on the left hand, F, A flat, B flat, D on the right hand, to A minus seven, double A on the left hand, G, A, C, E on the right hand, a D seven, Double D on the left hand and then G flat, A, and C. Now, that's the first verse. All the verses to the song basically contains most of these um, chords that I just showed you. 
but every verse does something just a little bit different. So I'm not going to reteach the entire verse over and over again. I will only teach the differences from verse one, verse two and verse three. So right now, let's play verse one through. Now, remember, verse one is when the song is slow. It's a slower tempo. These are all the chords I showed you so far. Now, after this, we're basically playing the same chords again, but the tempo picks up. It's like a faster tempo, so it's like. All right, so right, so right now, all the chords are exactly the same, so I'll just call out the chords, and I'll spell out the chords when they're different. So you're just gonna play G major again, just faster, E minor seven again, I think last time I showed you E minor, so I did minor seven this time. So that's E, G, B, and D on the right hand, and of course it's double E on the left hand. Then go to your A minor seven again, your D seven, okay? Now the last time we was just playing either a G or we did a G at nine, but if you listen to the second verse, you will hear that major seven. So play a G major seven, double G on the left hand, G, B, D, F sharp on the right hand. Now don't get me wrong, you can still get away with playing the regular G chord, but if you listen to Otis Redding recording, on that second verse, you're gonna hear, you wanna hear that F sharp on the top. All right, then you wanna go down to the F seven again. This is what we did the first time. Then go down to E seven. And then you're gonna do your A minor seven. You're gonna count eight beats for that. This is everything that we did on the first verse. Then you're gonna do your D seven chord and hold that for eight beats. All that, that's, that's the same. Now this is how you end the second verse. The way you come out of the second verse is different from how you come out of the first verse. This is how you come out of the second verse. You have a, just a regular G chord double G on the left hand, G, B, D on the right hand. Then you wanna to go to C major, double C on the left hand, G, C, E on the right hand. Then you wanna do a G9, double G on the left hand, A, B, D, F on the right hand. Hold that for seven beats like, um, one, two, three, four. Oh no, I'm I'm sorry. Hold it for um two, three, four, five, six, six. Hold it for six beats. Hold it for six beats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you're gonna go to this G over B chord. Double B on the left hand and G B D on the right hand. So this is how you do the second verse without stopping. It's a faster tempo. Major seven. Eight beats. Hold that chord for eight beats. Then Okay, now after that, you wanna to go to the bridge. But before I go to the bridge, I want you to see the difference between the first verse and the second verse. So I'm gonna actually play the first verse, but I'm gonna play the first verse faster just to save time on the video. But remember the first verse is actually supposed to be played slower, but I'm just gonna play it faster just for time purposes, okay? So this is the first verse.
verse 2. Major 7. Okay, now we're going to go to the bridge. And what you want to do is you want to do C major for eight beats. Double C on the left hand, G, C, E on the right hand. Then you want to do a, a B dominant seven. Double B on the left hand, A, B, E flat, G flat on the right hand. Then you want to do a E minor chord and you want to do this for eight beats. Double E on the left hand, G, B, E on the right hand. Then you want to do an A7, double A on the left hand, G, A, D flat, E on the right hand. And then you're going to go back to your C major chord again for eight beats, double C left hand, G, C, E right hand. Play your B7 chord again, double B on the left hand, A, B, E flat, G flat on the right hand, A7, double A on the left hand, G, A, D flat, E on the right hand, and then a D7, double D on the left hand, G flat, A, and C on the right hand. That's the bridge. So you'll go. And then you're going to go back to, and then there's a third verse. Now, again, the third verse, um, actually, there's nothing different. The third verse is played exactly how verses one, two, and three are played because you don't have a fourth line. So you're just going to play G major again, E minor seven, A minor seven, D7. Now remember, I already spelt all these chords out. That's the reason why I'm just going through it. G major 7. Remember, I did that with the second verse. G major 7. F7. Then you have the E7 chord. And then you have A minor 7, and you hold that for 8 beats. And then you have the D7 chord, and you hold that for 8 beats. That's all you do with the third verse. After that, you want to go to what I like to say either is the vamp or the ending. So you, with the third verse, you just... Just play what you played for the second verse. Except for the last line. Don't play the fourth line. Then you got the ending of the song, which is. And then you got this, uh, this uh, progression. Okay, so let's take a look at that. So when we get to the ending of the song, you want to go on G over B, double B on the left hand. G, B, D on the right hand, and you hold that for eight counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you got your E7 chord, and you can hold that for eight counts. 
double E on the left hand, E, A flat, B, D on the right hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now here go your progression now, your chord progression. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry, battling uh, a cold or something, I don't know. A minor seven, double A on the left hand, G, A, C, E on the right hand, G over B, double B on the left hand, G, B, D on the right hand, C major, double C on the left hand, G, C, E on the right hand, D flat diminished, double uh, D on the left hand, G, D flat, E on the right hand, then a D major chord, not D7, just D major, double D on the left hand, F, uh, G flat, A, D on the right hand, and then go to an E flat chord, E flat major, double E flat on the left hand, G, B flat, E flat on the right hand. Then you're gonna hold an E minor chord for two beats, double E on the left hand, G, B, E on the right hand, and then you're gonna go, so you're gonna slap or Let's do it that way. Let's do an F major chord. Double F on the left hand. A, C, F on the right hand. And then go up a half step to G flat. Double G flat on the left hand. B flat, D flat, G flat on the right hand. So that whole progression is. Okay, and then you're gonna, um, that, that's the first time you get there to the ending. Then this next section, you're just gonna repeat this over and over again until you're ready to end the song. So once you do it the first time, you'll go bop, bop, and then you should be back on the G major chord again. Back on the G major chord. Double G on the left hand. G, B, D on the right hand. And then F, at nine, double F on the left hand, F, G, A, C on the right hand. And then you got that E7 chord again, double E on the left hand, E, A flat, B, D. And then after that, you have that progression again, which I already broke down, so I'm not gonna break it down again. You can just rewind. And then, then you just keep doing that over again. And just do it as many times as you want. On the recording, I think he only does it like once or twice, but... If you're playing for somebody else, you can just, as many times as they want to sing the part. And when you're ready to end it, you just go, end it on that G9 chord. Get that blues sound. Double G on the left hand, A, B, D, and F on the right hand. So remember, the first time you come to the ending, you're going to go, two, three, four, five, six, then you go to the E7, and then you do that progression. That's the first time. Then after that, go down to F, then, and then you got the progression again.
That's how you get through the song. So hopefully that helped you out. And uh, I will definitely catch y'all on the next one. I'll holler at y'all later. <laughs> Peace.